Your Excellency, sir, Chief Minister, Ministers designate, Deputy Ministers designate, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, what you want to pass conferred on Your Excellency by the Constitution of Sierra Leone, Act No. 6 of 1991. It pleased Your Excellency to appoint certain persons as ministers and deputy ministers whom Your Excellency found worthy of such trust in further fulfillment of the constitutional requirement. The said persons will be duly sworn into office. It now gives me great honor and privilege to invite the Secretary to Cabinet and Head of the Civil Service to perform the honors. Thank you. Your Excellency, sir, following Your Excellency's nomination of worthy Sierra Leoneans to serve as ministers and deputy ministers in Your Excellency's government, I now have the honor to inform you, sir, that after due diligence, Parliament constituted has approved these same persons to serve as minister and deputy minister as directed by Your Excellency. Now, therefore, in accordance with Section 57 of the Constitution of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Act No. 6 of 1991, which requires a minister or a deputy minister not to enter upon the duties of his or her office unless he or she has taken and subscribed to the oath as prescribed, I have the honor as Secretary to the Cabinet and Head of the Civil Service to present these distinguished compatriots to you, sir, to subscribe to the book. Timothy Musa Kaba as Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation. Mrs. Princess Betty Duba, as Minister of Fisheries and Marine Resources. Dr. Sao Pato Anna Kainsam, sorry, Anna Kain, Max Kain, as Minister of Water Resources and Sanitation. Major General Retired David Talufa as Minister of Internal Affairs. Mr. Alpha Ibrahim Sisse as Minister of Trade and Industry. Dr. Austin Inga Dembi as Minister of Health. Mr. Juo Emmanuel Abdullahi as Minister of the Environment and Climate Change. Mr. Amara Kalon, as Minister of Public Administration and Political Affairs. Mrs. Meruz A. Kamanti, as Minister of Social Welfare. Ambassador Tamba John Silvanos Lamina, as Minister of Local Government and Community Affairs. Mr. Cherino A. Ba as Minister of Information and Civic Education. Mr. Julius Daniel Matai, as Minister of Mines and Mineral Resources. Madam Kenye Bale, as Minister of Economic Planning and Development. Mr. Mohamed Rahman Soare, as Minister of Employment, Labor, and Social Security. Mr. Konrad Saki, as Minister of Basic Education and Senior Secondary, Basic and Senior Secondary Education. <coughs> Dr. Turad Senesi, as Minister of Lands and Country Planning. Dr. Aisata Mahoy, as Minister of Gender and Children's Affairs. 
Madam Salima Tsuba Esquire, as Minister of Communications, Technology and Innovation. Mrs. Augusta James Tamer, as Minister of Sports. Dr. Dennis Mwenina Sandi, as Minister of Works and Public Assets. Ambassador Adekule Jolif Milton King, as Minister of the Western Region. Ambassador Umaru Bundu Ruri, as Resident Minister Northwest. Mr. Bese Jusu Gobe, as Resident Minister East. Mr. Mohamed E. K. Ali, as Resident Minister South. Mr. Abu Abu Abdullahi Kuruma, as Resident Minister North. Deputy Ministers. Engineer Francis Alpha Kanon, as Deputy Minister of Water, Resources and Sanitation. Mr. Alpha Sise, as Deputy Minister of Justice. Mr. Sajo Aziz Kamara, as Deputy Minister of Higher and Technical Education. Madam Fatmata Wuri, as Deputy Minister of Trade and Industry. Mr. Philip Tetema Tondone, as Deputy Minister of Public Administration and Political Affairs. Dr. Jalikatu Mustafa, as Deputy Minister of Health II. Mr. Teketo Masadi Esquire, as Deputy Minister of Information and Civic Education. Mr. Patrick M. Gibrilla, as Deputy Minister of Youth Affairs. I just observed that I, I, I skipped up one minister. I'm sorry about it, Mr. Minister. Alaji Kanja ICC, as Minister of <laughs> 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 So we now come to the oath ceremony, and for this purpose, I will respect. Hi, your name? Hi. Do hereby in the name of? Do hereby in the name of Solemnly affirm? Solemnly affirm. That I will faithfully and truly discharge? I will faithfully and truly discharge. The duties of the office of? The duties of the office of Of the Republic of Sierra Leone, and that I will support, and that I will support uphold, uphold, and maintain the Constitution of Sierra Leone as my law established. As my law established. So help me. So help me. Thank you. So, I would now call on ministers designate to come forward and sign up to the warrant for the HGA president. Mr. Timothy Musa Kappa.
Mrs. Princess Betty Doctor Saul Pato Anna Askind. Major General Retired David Tanuga. Mr. Alpha Ibrahim Sissi. Doctor Austin Inga Demi. Haji Kanja ICC. Mr. Jiwo Emmanuel Abdullahi. Mrs. Melrose A. Command. Ambassador Tomba John Silvanos Lamina.
Mr. Chino Iba. Mr. Julius Daniel Matai. Madame Kenya Bali. Mr. Mohamed Rahman Swari. Mr. Konrad Saki. Doctor Tuad Senesi. Madam Salamatu Bar Square. Mrs. Augusta James Taiman.
Dr. Dennis Mwenina Sandi. Now, the resident ministers. Ambassador Adekule Jolif Miltiki. Ambassador Umaru Bundu Uri. Mr. Yesi Jusu Mimobe. Mr. Mohamed E.K. Ali. Abu Abu Abdullah Kuruma. Finally, for today, the Deputy Ministers, Engineer Francis Alpha Calon.
Mr. Alpha CC. Mr. Sajo Aziz Kamara. Madam Fatmata Wuri. Mr. Kili Tetema Tondone. Dr. Jalikatu Mustafa. Mr. Peketoma Sandy Esquire. Finally for today, Mr. Patrick M. G. Miller. Thank you very much, Secretary to Cabinet, for disposing of that key item on the agenda. Your Excellency, may I crave your further indulgence in inviting the Minister of Water Resources and Sanitation, Dr.
Dr. Sal Maxkine to make a statement on behalf of the Minister. Good morning, Your Excellency. Good morning, everyone present. Um, Your Excellency, I first want to register my profound appreciation that I've been chosen amongst my colleagues to deliver a statement on their behalf. I believe that I would administer that task in the interest of all of us this morning. Let me, on their behalf, thank you for giving us this privilege to serve with you in the executive for the next five years. Your Excellency, this is a very interesting mix, but we want to also join the people of Sierra Leone to applaud you for giving us this kind of demographic to serve in the cabinet. Your Excellency, we are from the north, we're from the northwest, we're from the east, we're from the south, and we're from the western area. We're Muslims, we're Christians. Some of us are educators, some of us have served in the public and civil service. Some of us are farmers and in different areas, in different walks of life. Inclusiveness will definitely be able to impact on the delivery of the agenda which you have set for the next five years. And I want to say to my colleagues that we have the knowledge base to be able to deliver on that. Your Excellency, my colleagues, have worked in different capacities and they have the knowledge and the experience, which is what we believe propels you to select us amongst a lot of qualified civil unions to serve in this privileged position. We will, we owe it to our families, we owe it to our communities, we owe it to the constituencies that we're representing, we owe it to the people of Sierra Leone to make sure that we deliver our services without fair favor, without um, any prejudices to be able to, to support you as you go into your second term of, of delivery for this country. Your Excellency, we know that after a long period of politicking the past months, putting together a cabinet is not an easy task but because of the confidence that you have in us, and we equally have that confidence in you, we are looking forward to working with you, working with other colleagues, and of course, our Chief Minister, who, who will be driving the process, also from the side of all ministers, to make sure that we do go to the five. Um, let us use this opportunity to say thank you, God bless all of us, and as we come into this room, we know we are ready to deliver. We know that whilst we are representing different constituencies, whilst we have different individual interests, the pivotal is Sierra Leone. How we serve this country, we deliver this country, making our individual interests secondary. That is what would make us, and I'm sure will make you proud as um, the President of the Republic of Sweden. I thank you all, and I pray that God bless us all as we deliver this Herculean task that have been given to us as Ministers of Government. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Minister. May it now please Your Excellency, most graciously, sir, to make a statement. Thank you very much, Mr. Murray.